Saudi Arabia has become notorious for its mind-blowing mega-projects in recent years. One of these majestic, colossal projects is Oxagon, which once completed will be the world's largest floating structure. It is solely dedicated to clean, innovative, futuristic industries and products, from electronic components and autonomous vehicles including flying cars and Formula E race machines to hydrogen fuel and green heavy machinery, you name it, the Oxagon will make it. It's currently under construction, with certain sections already completed and some of the world's biggest companies setting up facilities there. This is how Saudi Arabia is building the world's largest floating hub and port. The position of 48 square kilometers, Oxagon is quite strategic and close to the Suez Canal where 13% of all global trade passes. It is also connected to Neon Bay Airport via high-speed rail. Of course, it is called Oxagon due to its shape. As for the design, it rotates around integrating functionality and innovation. It was designed and is being built by world-class companies such as SNC-Lavalin, Jacobs, Bjarke Ingels Group, and Jasara, among others. It is huge, so let us get into the mesmerizing details. Oxagon is a next-generation automated and integrated port and supply chain like others on the planet. It is designed as an ecosystem for manufacturing, research, innovation, and shipping. Think of all the new futuristic advanced and clean inventions and creations out there. Their makers will be able to call Oxagon home since it will enable them to deliver what they advertise as 100% clean and sustainable products. From cell phones, microchips, and EVs to flying shuttles, robots, and food packaging. It is so centralized, 40% of the world is accessible within a six-hour flight. It is even designed to be a tourist destination and a window to Neom since it will also feature a cruise ship dock that enables tourists to access beaches, luxury hotels and resorts, and nature spots within minutes. Right across the middle of the Oxagon, there is a huge wide channel for cargo ships, cruise ships, and yachts. Residential areas in Oxagon are futuristic, yet the many canals will make them feel like Venice with an Arabian heritage touch. By 2030, up to 90,000 people will live in two villages, Oxagon Village and Jebel Village. 70,000 jobs will be created, and of course, it will be powered by 100% renewable energy via technologies that are developed and manufactured in it. Additionally, it will supply the line, which is destined to host up to 9 million people with everything needed during the construction process, which has already begun, and everything to maintain it as a world-class city of the future. We did a video about Neom and the line, so make sure to check it out. Transport-wise, Oxagon will only produce electric cars, shuttles, delivery drones, flying cars, electric trucks, and every clean transportation mode you can imagine. But that's exactly what will litter its roads, rails, and skies. It is also an extraction-based agriculture hub that will focus on regenerative and technologically advanced farming that has zero impact on the environment. Sophisticated factories will produce only healthy foods and alternative meats. To achieve such milestones in farming and finding sustainable, healthy, alternative meats, cutting-edge biotechnology for sustainable aqua farming will be utilized. A 400,000 square meters research and innovation campus will focus on biotech. Pharma, nutrition, and medtech has been designed by the architect Wilkinson Air. The main goal of the facility is a healthy and sustainable lifestyle for the residents of Neom and the world. The port is already built and is being used to build the rest of the project. It is designed to be a next-generation port and logistics center connected to a comprehensive integrated supply chain. Intelligent warehouses are located within the port with direct access via road and a high-speed freight network to the rest of the Oxagon and directly to the line, the core of Neom. The key wall was constructed with low-carbon steel frames instead of concrete. STS, ARTG, and ARMG cranes have been installed. AI is heavily used, and the port is already acting as a critical enabler for NEOM and a catalyst for further economic development in the region. WeBuild and its joint venture partner, Sheeb Al Jazeera Contracting Company, are already constructing a $2.5 billion, 110-kilometer high-speed railway, the Connect 
to link Oxagon to the Line, Trojina, and Neom Bay Airport. Viaducts, road bridges, as well as road and rail underpasses are included in the project to allow train speeds of up to 230 kilometers per hour. All facilities in Oxagon are currently being built in a massive on-site modular design factory that is focused on 3D printing and sustainable steel. A factory for building advanced 3D printing machines is also being built in Oxagon. As you already know, module construction coupled with 3D printing is the future and it is already being utilized across all industries. Sustainable steel is a big deal no matter where you go because it is strong, reliable, and more importantly, recyclable. Steel can be recycled and reused endlessly without compromising its impressive physical properties. The Emirati company, Dana Steel, is one of the companies that has been approved and is now involved in providing materials or services for the construction of the project. The UK-based company, GDI, was contracted to build a $1 billion modular assembly plant which is almost complete. One of these modules are assembled and are partially 3D printed in place. Factories for the production of solar PV panels, green hydrogen, battery storage, and wind turbines will begin operations to establish the energy needs for the rest of the project and the whole of NEOM. The following factories will produce autonomous shuttles, green freight trucks, green heavy machinery, drones, flying taxis, and you name it that spells future. A giant 10 square kilometers blue economy industries park that is partially in the sea will host manufacturing and R&D facilities related to maritime shipping, fishing and aquaculture, coastal tourism, blue energy, water desalination, undersea cabling, marine genetic resources and biotechnology. Nearby, an oceanography research center will focus on the health of the Red Sea's coral reefs and fisheries and act as a living lab. Expect floating greenhouses to cover an area of several square kilometers. An $8.5 billion hydrogen plant is being built and will be the world's largest utility-scale, commercially-based hydrogen facility powered entirely by renewable energy. It is an equal joint venture between NEOM, Air Products, and ACWA Power. By 2026, it will produce 600 tons per day of clean hydrogen by electrolysis using ThyssenKrupp technology. When complete, the project will mitigate the impact of 5 million metric tons of carbon emissions per year. Zero Point DC is also building a hyperscale data center in partnership with infrastructure developer Ezdahar Advanced Company. They are calling it the Metaverse of Data Centers. The tech behemoth Oracle is the first client we know of in this hyperscale data center so you can imagine the rest. It will offer services that will include collocation with the eventual option for customers to build and operate their own data centers within the dataverse. Neom and OneWeb, the global communications network powered from space, have signed a $200 million joint venture agreement to bring high-speed satellite connectivity to Oxagon and the whole of Neom. The partnership will see the deployment of OneWeb's Low Earth Orbit Satellite Constellation to provide reliable connectivity to enable NEOM's ecosystem of cognitive technologies. Phase 1 of a seawater desalination plant by the firms Itochu and Veolia has been completed, and by the completion of the third phase, it will have a total capacity of 1 million cubic meters per day. The clean facility uses advanced reverse osmosis membranes and hybrid technologies. A state-of-the-art wastewater collection and recycling facility is also being built in Oxagon to serve the entire city of Neom. Millions of cubic meters will reach the facility via a smart 2,500 kilometers sewage collection network. Air Products Kudra has also been assigned a contract to build hydrogen fueling stations, which is a hint of how hydrogen-powered vehicles will be part of the landscape and an attractive option for many global firms. Finally, McLaren is just one of the few big names collaborating with Neom and is planning to utilize the advantages of Oxagon to revolutionize the electric car racing industry with advancements in Formula E racing and Extreme E. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Thank you for watching.